Hey, welcome back to my Charlotte Tilbury look series video. Today we are doing the bombshell. The bombshell is probably my most worn look. It's super easy to do, it's really quick, and you get a really wow effect. I filmed this video today as a voiceover video. There was some construction going on outside today that was pretty loud, and I didn't really feel like filming a video. So to get myself to film, I just wanted to put in my headphones and listen to some music and just kind of get into doing my makeup instead of having to think about what I was saying about doing my makeup. Do you know what I mean? Love this look. It's super classic. Definitely can be worn for the holidays coming up. It's a great look for that. If you want to see my other Charlotte Tilbury look series videos, I will link the playlist down below. Give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it too, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys. So we're going to start with Magic Cream like we always do. This is going to moisturize and prime our skin for the rest of the makeup to go over top. Today for foundation, I'm using my Dior Forever and my Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundations. The Dior Forever is a darker color. It matches my tan a lot better. So I'm using this on the outside of my face and the Clinique Perfecting is too light for me and so I'm gonna use this on the inside of my face. Both of these are really nice full coverage foundations that give a really flawless finish. The bombshell has a really chiseled complexion, so using the two different foundation colors in this way is gonna help us achieve that look. I'm gonna skip over my brows here. This cool little trick would have worked a little bit better if the lighting hadn't changed on me. Next, I'm going in with my Lorac eyeshadow primer. I'm using a really small amount. Because of the type of eyeshadow that we're using, it will affect it if you use too much. The bombshell has an eyeshadow pencil for her look. It's super easy to use. You want to make sure you give it a sharpen before we start. And then use the pencil to draw all over the lid from inner corner to outer corner right up to the crease. Making sure we get right up against the lashes so there's no gaps between the lashes and the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and start blending this out with my finger. You want to work one eye at a time because the color chameleon set pretty quickly. I'm mostly avoiding the lid and blending the crease out towards the tail of my brow. The bombshell eyeshadow is really angular. It's got that really nice feline shape to it. So here I'm drawing a line from the corner of my eye towards the tail of my brow and then blending that up towards my crease. It's gonna look almost like wing liner when we clean it up. Next I'm going in with my All Hours Concealer from YSL. This is quite a nice light shade. I'm applying this in a triangular shape underneath my eye and then using it to clean up and carve out that outer edge of my eyeshadow. I'm also applying it through the center of my face to add some lightness. This is gonna help with that nice structured complexion that the bombshell has. I'm taking care along the edge of my eye here to make sure that we keep that nice wing liner shape that we've created with the eyeshadow. I'm going to bake with Charlotte's Magic Genius Powder. So with my Beauty Blender, I'm getting a heavy amount of powder on there and setting those areas where I put that light concealer. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my Airbrush Flawless Finish in shade number two, which is darker, and I'm gonna use that to set the outer portions of my face where I've got the darker foundation. And I'm gonna blend that Genius Magic Powder into that Airbrush Flawless Powder. I'm going back in with the Color Chameleon in Amber Haze and I am applying this to the lower lash line and blending it out with a pencil brush. Again, working one eye at a time so that the product doesn't set. I connect the lower lash line with the eyeshadow on top for a seamless look. Next, I'm taking my Feline Flick Liquid Liner Pen and I'm drawing a thin line across the top of my lash line. Hopefully you can see the way that I have the pen at a horizontal angle and I'm letting it do all the work for me just pressing it down into those lashes and then dragging it out so that the line is nice and smooth. Today I'm using my Legendary Lashes Volume 2 mascara. This mascara gives a ton of volume. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. I'm gonna start by contouring with the bronzer side and a small angled brush. I'm starting out with these sweeping motions so that I get a nice angular cheekbone. Then I'm gonna go ahead with a fluffier brush in the same bronzing powder and use it to bronze the rest of my face as well. So temples, using it to blend on my cheeks. 
and then bronzing my neck, which I always do, especially now that I have a tan and my face is so much lighter than the rest of my body. Here I'm using the highlighter shade from the palette to highlight the inner corner of my eye. And then again on the tops of my cheekbones, above my brows, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, Cupid's bow. We're moving on to lips here, which you can barely see. I was getting really into my makeup and I guess forgot I was filming. So this is the most of what I got on camera of me lining my lips. I'm using this Savage Rose lip liner and I'm overdrawing my top lip, but not my bottom because my bottom is more full than my top. This is one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. It's in her Hollywood Lips liquid lipstick formula. It's called Screen Siren. It's just such a beautiful bright red, perfect for the holidays. It's also very long wearing. If you put this on in the morning, it'll last you all day or all night if you're wearing it at night. This is a little trick so you don't get lipstick on your teeth. For blush, the bombshell uses Sex on Fire, so we are swishing around the outside edge first, applying that in circular motions up the cheekbone between the contour and highlight, then popping into that center shade and applying it to the apples of the cheeks while smiling. I'm going to apply a pair of false lashes. I bought these at the Thai version of the dollar store. It's called the 20 Bot Store. They're okay. They're definitely worth a dollar. I actually filmed my entire outro and then started taking pictures for Instagram before I realized that I hadn't put my lashes on yet. So this is actually a lot later. We got there in the end. All right guys, so that's the Charlotte Tilbury bombshell look. It's really simple, really quick, but you still get that baba boom drama. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more and I will see you in the next one. Bye.